So this say, will you be hosting any meet and greets in October for your birthday? My bad, my son, for my birthday. What you talking about? You think I'll be thinking about y'all on my birthday? <laughs> questions on Instagram I do this quarterly and you guys ask and I'm ready to answer but first you have to hear from our sponsor let's just get straight into it thank you Remy Fort for sponsoring this video this is my first time working with the company this is the box you will get a wig with caps and tape to wear the wig this is the highlight honey blonde body wave wear and go wig it is pre-cut it's beginner friendly and it is very inexpensive i will leave the payment options and the link and the discount code below there are two combs on the side one at the back and a band to wear is glueless so let's get into the install right to it we have this closure wig which is going to be super simple so we're just going to do a full get ready with me look at this wig look at this wig this is a very simple wig so i'm just going to take my face powder and tint the lace there's not much lace to tint because this is a closure and not a frontal just put a little tint to it more my skin tone that's what we want we wanted my color so when the flash hit and etc it's not lit up everything is pre on this wig very good fit very good fit you can wear a glueless hence the band in there this is a middle part so we're just going to keep it a middle part I kind of want to do a flip over, but I don't have room. So we got to keep it a middle part. Keep it a buck. <laughs> Pull it down a little bit. So let's just go ahead and brush it back so I can see what I'm working with. It's already pre curled too, so there's not much to do unless you want to straighten it. That's up to you. So we're just going to take a wax stick and go ahead and tame this a little so we can have all of the flyaways and stuff out the way to see how we really need to adhere this to my head. See how that did that? I pushed it back. We don't want it pushed back. So, here lately I have been using glue. Can you guys believe that? But I'm not going to today. This is even. And put a little bit of spray. Now that we have it down like that, I'm going to take the same spray and just go along the hairline like that and spray it like sporadically and melt it in with my finger. This is just to go ahead and melt it into the skin. The other one, the other layer was just to adhere it to my head. Blow dry it or dry it rather because this is not a blow dryer. So right here we got our good and dry. We're just going to tie it down for like not even five minutes because I'm going to tie it really, really tight. And so I can't keep it on too long because I don't want a headache. But let's go ahead and take this off and move on. <laughs> what do we got to move into? Hello, what is there to do? It's kind of hard to determine this part, ain't it? Because the, the part is the color of the hair. So I'm going to take this concealer. It's a whole lot lighter than me, but I really want this part to pop. I hope I don't mess this up because... Girl, what? And to find this part, we're gonna pull it on out. Yeah, see? So let's go ahead. This is pre-curled and it's pre-layered. So it's gonna fall. Let me show y'all the picture so y'all can see how it's supposed to. Oh, it's cute, girl. Damn, is we done? Another way. Another way I almost has slightly like a curtain bang look. All right, so what I'm gonna do is take a big comb because I don't want the curls so tight. Let's comb through those curls a little bit. Take it and you just hope I don't get dizzy. Flip your hair. Try to give it some volume. And you bring it back. There we go. And then I'm just gonna do that with the comb. Y'all like this color? Tell me, talk to me now. Ooh, okay, I'm almost cute already now. And I know. And baby, yes. Almost straight out the box. I look like Beyonce. <laughs> if you say I don't, you hate me. 
I will leave the link to Remy Ford this week. Discount codes, they have split pay, quad pay options, and everything below the video in the description box. Hey guys, you know how a question and answer goes, so let's get straight to it. It's a lot of questions, it's a lot of good questions, and I have been super excited to record this. There are like sheets and sheets of uh, questions, but a lot of them was repetitive, so I did come back on Facebook and, mm -mm, mm -mm, no I didn't instagram and say hey ask me more questions because y'all are all asking the same thing so we're just gonna go flow by flow and see what we come up with y'all okay with that so this say will you be hosting any meet and greets in october for your birthday what about my side for my birthday what you talking about you think i'll be thinking about y'all on my birthday <laughs> let me take this earpiece out now let me leave it on Baby, I'm outside for my birthday. Honestly, I don't know. I plan my calendar like a month ahead now because Dallas is the new LA and it's just like so many events and stuff happening here. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for my birthday. So, no, I don't have any set in stone. But if something come up, y'all will know. Y'all will know. It's a just want to say hello and hope you have a wonderful September. Love you and your and it cut off. Thank you so much. Janice, hope you have a wonderful September as well. So the next one say, why do you have a beautiful soul? Yeah. So why do you have a beautiful soul? Um, honestly, I think I got it from my mama. My mom was like that person. Oh my gosh, I used to get so annoyed when I was younger because everybody came to her. She helped everybody. Every time she got new furniture, people knew she was going to be giving away her old furniture. Uh, she was the lady at the church. Every uh, Saturday night, we would stay up and make these candy bags for all the kids at church. So like every Sunday after church, all the kids ran up to my mom. She was just a nice person. That's why I never understood. I don't understand a lot of stuff in life still. I never understood why my mom suffered so much with like canceled twice and all that and she was such a good person. My mama didn't drink, she didn't smoke, <laughs> she didn't nothing. She just went to work, came home, took care of us and um went to church on Sundays and she was just, she got canceled twice so yeah. I think that's who I get it from and then I'm an empath. I um I really do feel like the treatment that I give others is just the treatment that I want myself. So I basically do unto others as I would want them to do unto me. But unfortunately, that doesn't come back around a lot in my world. And I'm just trying to figure that part out still because I'm like, come on now. Like, I'm, I'm always saying, <laughs> much as I do for people, why do I have to go through this? But I guess that's why you do stuff just out the kindness of your heart, not to like reap, reap reap the benefits reap the benefits um because if you sit around just doing stuff to get stuff in return and to reap the benefits girl you're gonna be sitting somewhere confused your whole life so i don't know i just i really get a joy um the great raheem devon said <laughs> the ultimate pleasure is giving pleasure and i honestly 100 percent agree with that even like in relationships and stuff like boy I go out alpha of somebody I love because I love to see them smile. I love to see them happy. It just makes my freaking day. Like, I love it. And it's just like, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like, um, why be mean? It's just like now <laughs> Dallas is the new LA and I be going to all these like creator events and those girls come in with their nose in the air. They don't speak. They don't. And I'm like, baby, why are you acting so Hollywood? You never know who I am and the connects I could have for you or I could put you through too. But child, I go and I speak to everybody regardless if they want to speak back or what. And I just feel like everybody should be like that. Like why go around being mean and grumpy? and grouchy and rude and nasty like i just love helping others i love i just love helping others and i just love uh, making other people feel special guys and so like i said maybe that's because that's the treatment i want okay so our next question say how is should in your relationship now that you now that things shit how is should in your relationship now that she has returned was it was there a combo before so, okay, I love you guys a whole, 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 whole lot, right? And I told y'all that I'm going to stop putting y'all in so much of my business because I do feel like I overshare and it, it gets 
you know, people throw it back in my face a lot or give unsolicited opinions or advice. Um, but obviously, Suge is back home. Um, our relationship, I will, I will 100% be honest about this. My relationship will never change with my daughter. It's called growing pains. We all done gave our parents hell at one point, and I just feel like she's going through a phase. Um, so I, my feelings never changed about my daughter. Let's just say that. I just feel like sometimes people have to be taught a hard lesson or a rough lesson in life. Um, and when you're the, the rod that spared the child, is that how that go? Or, or when you're the parent that um, let them get away with stuff so long or spoil them so long, sometimes you just got to bag back and show them that, hey, <laughs> I'm that nigga, basically. Like, why would you do, you know, like, chill, basically. So, um, the relationship, we picked right back up the day I went and got her. But, um... Do we have a conversation? Absolutely. Um, but we need to have another one because Sugar's 19, about to be 20 now. And I have to instill in her head that um, it's time to get on a good foot. I told you I went to one of my ex-boyfriends. And when I say ex-boyfriend, I mean like from like high school, 15 year old. So um, I went to one of his, his, not one of his, I went to his, yeah, one of his kids, his 21 year old daughter party. Y'all saw that in the last, in a blog. And when I say I was so motivated by those 19, 20, 21 year olds there at that party, how they getting it, the gifts they brought for her and everything. And I just want my baby to be like that. I just feel like a lot of the time she come across the wrong crowd and let the people knock her off her A game. But all that is growing pains and stuff that she got to learn on her own. Mama can't save her all the time. So we just going to see how they go. All right. So, yes, we had a conversation. Yes, she back. Yes, we back on track. Yes, things are the same. Um, but it's still some missing pieces to some puzzles that we need to talk about and get her back on track. So, being that it's almost a year later, describe it in one word. Now, I don't know what the heck she's talking about. What is almost a year later? A year later. A year, what happened a year ago? If you're talking about my divorce, it would be a year in December. So, I guess that would be... Almost a year later, describe it in one word is happy. I'm happy as hell. <laughs> I'm happy as hell. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know that there was a struggle marriage. You know that I was fighting by myself. You know that I was stressed in that marriage. You know I didn't understand why my wife wasn't helping me fight for the marriage. And so all I wanted to be able to do was disperse the marriage in a, a grown adult way where we're not like bickering and mad and um locking each other out of counts and you know that kind of stuff and we did so i still have my moments no i don't i can't even lie i love to cut the pieces but i don't miss being married to them i don't it, it, I became the man, I became the provider, I became the make it happen, I became the fighter, and that shit almost killed me. It got really exhausting. So, I wish her the best, um, love life-wise or whatever. I'm so freaking happy that we are just friends, but I don't miss that marriage at all. So, happy. <laughs> it was a lot of things I wasn't getting in it, a lot of things that I'm getting now, and I, I, I'm spoiled as hell now. I'm spoiled in a motherfucker now. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't even open my own car, though. I don't even get myself out the car. I don't even... I, I don't do nothing but look pretty. And I think I deserve that because I've been raising myself since I was 17. And I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired. I deserve that. All right. So, the next question is... No question. I just love how you never give up. Big inspiration. Thank you so much. T-Style Cosmetics Beauty. If they say something like that, I'll say who the name is. But if they ask the personal question, I won't. Because I'm not going to put nobody on blast like that. So, the next question say, I'm not asking anything but sending you love and light for a fabulous September. Thank y'all so much. Send it, baby. I receive. Baby, I deserve. And my mama D-voice, baby. Oh, and my tank voice. No, not Tank Boys. Tank saying he deserves people to stay out of our night and stuff. No, not my Tank Boys. We're going to stay in Mama D voice. I deserve however the song go. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's my boo, Alfreda. Thank you so much. Alfreda has been to my Black Amir Udi event. She came to my yoga class. 
she sent me that body butter she sent me that peach spray i mean yes yeah, spray and um body shower gel she's just an awesome person with a beautiful spirit i used to do her makeup she's a long time plat brat so i genuinely feel like she mean this i'm not saying i don't feel like anybody else don't but i just know her and know she has such a sweet hold on yeah hold on I know that she has such a sweet and soft spirit and I know that she genuinely means that. You know what I'm saying? So let's move into this. Hopefully this is a question. So you and sir back together. So here's the thing. Me and sir was never together. <laughs> um, me and sir was never together. Mr. Get it right. Me and sir was never together. Well, I'm just going to be transparent. I don't want to talk about him too much. Um, I'm just going to be transparent. I kept telling sir I wasn't ready. I was, I was fresh up out of marriage. We started dealing in February when he took me to the hospital. I mean, he had been around. Y'all know, sir's been around my whole life since 2006. But I got divorced in December and we started dealing in February, Jerry. That was too much. Shit, I was fresh out of the divorce. I had a whole bunch of other stuff going on um, that I care not to share on this platform. And um, I had kept telling him let's not take this too serious let's have fun let's not take this too serious but sir kept saying you mind you it just got real strange and i think we both had two different perspectives of what we was doing but we're very attached to each other so it's hard to stay away from each other so me and sir was never together from my eyes now if he say we was then he, he has every bit of a right to feel that way that's how he felt i was over there all the time we was doing together stuff um so to answer that the back together i don't know where that came from no me and sir we are not back together but yes me and sir do talk that's my friend to the end i don't, I don't know i tell y'all that all the time like i just don't feel the need to hate my exes and so many of you guys have a big problem with that um me and, me and sir me and him um we do things together again um, we we do go out and have fun and stuff again because we did take like a, a little bit over a month month and a half break from each other um because I was really just like screw you because I just felt like I it, it, I just y'all know how I felt how many opportunities I'm gonna give keep stumping on me sir but um after we talked and got you know everything I couldn't be mad at that man because I was very confusing um like I just said. <laughs> I'm telling this man, no, we don't go together, but I'm spending the night every night and going everywhere with him. So I know I was very misleading. So we just got a good understanding and we are very much good friends, great friends. That's one of my closest friends. I'll do anything for him, vice versa. So that's that. Huh, take away a two and one. <laughs> no, I'm just playing, but yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. One call, that's all. You hear me? Y'all know that. So, let's see. We uh, That's the first sheet. How's wedding planning going with Maya? Whew. That's a whole nother thing. Y'all in our business again. But there is no wedding planning going. I told you guys when Suge got engaged. Um, Suge sat on the bed right here and told y'all that um, she wanted to wait on her fiance to get off the ship. And now they are going through a rocky moment from when I put her out. So I don't know how that's going to go. So there definitely won't be any wedding planning until they figure that out. I mean, why would I be over here? It's just common sense, ain't it? So um, what's up with Mr. Get It Right? You said anything? Yeah, I just explained that, but I don't said a lot. <laughs> Baby, I don't said a lot, sir. Friend. My boy. I missed you. I did miss him. I, t I told y'all that. Remember, one vlog, I was having an extremely rough time because I was just like, my friend. Who the fuck do I call now? Who the fuck do that? That man was still sending me Christmas and birthday gifts and shit to my P.O. box. Y'all would see it in the vlogs. That was him. 
So it's just like, I feel like everything, like, dang, we just gonna stop everything? I understand the sex and I understand the the dates and the loving on each other, but we can't even confide in each other anymore. The shit got weird. I didn't like the way it felt. So, you know, child, he ain't going nowhere and I ain't either. So let's move on to the next question, which y'all knows it tells. Unrelated, but can you share your mini facial routine mentioned in your last video? I don't remember mentioning that. A mini facial? I don't remember mentioning that, but there's a whole skincare routine on the makeup channel. A whole skincare routine. I got a whole nother makeup channel that y'all need to whoop me over. Because that thing was active and I just, well, shit. My life flipped upside down. I got a divorce and everything, so I just neglected it. It's over there, baby. Go check it out. This, this hair is beautiful. So let's talk about this. Do you feel with all of your... Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel fulfilled with all of your success? Are you proud of your achievements? Nope. I guess that's the saying, never good enough. Every time I achieve stuff, I feel like I can do better. I can do greater. Now, don't get me wrong. Thank you, God, for everything you have blessed me with. All these opportunities, all these. But I just feel, especially now, y'all, Dallas is having events two to three times a week. And it's like... I'm seeing so many new influencers and stuff. And then some of the stuff I don't get invited to. And I'm like, why was I, I invited? It's always a... I Sometimes I can't sit and um, accept the blessings worrying about the stuff that's not happening. And I need to stop that. It's just hard. That's a raw emotion. So I'm so thankful. And I thank the Lord for everything he is blessing me with lately. Because the blessings just be overflowing, don't they? Like, actually, right now, I'm supposed to be in New York Fashion Week with Equay, but, y'all, yeah, ain't got a lot of numbers one right for me. I, I just, I can't be nickel and dime, y'all. So, I didn't go, and now I kind of regret it, because I've never been to New York Fashion Week, but then, also, I'm not a fashion girly in my eyes, so it wasn't like a lifetime opportunity that I mixed, missed to me. So, I'm just, I'm just cool. I'm just chilling on it. I'm happy. Um, I thank the Lord because I have been getting an abundance of blessings lately. But I do, I do, I do. I can't lie. Wish there was, I just want to be turned up a little bit more. You know what I'm saying? But I'm also happy that it has been over a decade. It has been over a decade and I'm still relevant. Can't too many people say that, baby. So I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. That's about it. <laughs> I went on a tangent with that, huh? I don't have any questions, but keep doing you. I enjoy watching the beautiful person that you are. Thank you so much, Lady Nix 8. I really appreciate you. This one say, how are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Um, last week was the day uh, my son passed away. It was really rough. I literally physically felt sick and thought I was going to have to go to the ER one night and just lay it over here in Ruth's eye. And when I tell you I have just been getting poured into so much by somebody who's very special to me, it took all of that fear and anxiety and everything away. They didn't bother me. They came. We slept. We ate. We slept. We ate. We slept. We ate. Like... I'm well on whatever you want today. If you want to go turn up at the club, let's do it. If you want to sit, but they stay right by my side the whole freaking day. Sent flowers and everything. I don't even remember if I put that in the vlog. I don't think I did. Oh my gosh. I was sitting right here. One call, that's all is what they said. And I called and they came and was there all day. So it is what it is. I feel good. You know what I'm saying? What new hobbies or self-care techniques do you enjoy at this phase of your life? Actually, I don't have any new hobbies. Um, self-care. Actually, yes, I do. I love being out at like hotels and stuff. Like, I love a staycation. Like, I don't care if it's a hotel five minutes away from me. Let's, I'm going to do a staycation. I just love being out the house. I don't have to worry about nobody knocking on my door non-stop. I don't have to worry about feeding people. I just be gone on my own schedule, my own time. And having fun. I love me a good hotel. Maybe that's something I should tap into. Like, hotel content. I think I would be good at that. Shoot, I made a hotel every other day. And I'm now, boy, but I, boy, I say, 
Okay. So in Texas, where the stuffs be at? Child, I don't know. Shit, you had the wrong person. Because I ain't going back that route. <laughs> Did you just not hear me say, I ain't finna wear the pants no more, so I don't be looking for them. But nah, I really don't know anymore. Um, I ain't been in the gay scene in a long time, baby. Long time. Even when I was married to a woman, I didn't go out or nothing like that. Shoot, I guess everywhere the straights be here, they kick it with the straight people. I, I'm the wrong person to ask that kind of stuff because I'm just not into that kind of life. Um, I mean, nightlife. Well, I guess... Those don't have to be in a nightlife, huh? Girl, go off Oakland. That's where the gay people be. Plat Plat, would you ever consider being a life coach? You already do this naturally. I, I actually have. I can't even lie. I really feel, because I feel like with therapy and um, life coaching and stuff, you can't tell me nothing if you haven't been through it. So I do feel like I have been through a lot in life so I can guide people through it. <sighs> But, but, but at the same time, um, I just don't want a job like that now. I don't want responsibilities where I have to wake up at a certain time. I have, because one day I might make, um, one day I might wake up and not feel like talking to people. One day I might wake up and I'm dizzy or I, I'm going through menopause and stuff and I'm irritated and I just... I don't want to sit and have to help people through their problems and I'm feeling like that. And so I feel like that will cause me to do a lot of uh, counseling out on people, rescheduling. So now with my lifestyle, I can just go with the flow. If I don't feel like going to the event, I just don't go. If I don't feel like um, doing a YouTube video, I just won't do it. You know, I have that financial freedom now, thank God. So I don't feel like I would... um go into it as a career but I have thought about that because I I do think I will be very good at that people let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you something everybody named mama come to me for advice anyway I put that on everything I'll be like child why you want to listen to me <laughs> so five more questions y'all and we gonna wrap this up because I ain't got nothing else to do like this is really the simplest wig to put on and I was going to do my makeup, but it is 11 o'clock at night. So if I put a new pair of contacts on, do a full face, what I'm going to have to do? Throw the contacts away because they're daily. So once I put them on, I can't wear them anymore and wash the makeup right off. So what I'm going to do is when I get up in the morning to go to my event I'm going to, I'm going to do my makeup and then do the intro and the outro for this wig video, right? Right? That makes sense. So I don't got to waste contacts because my contacts fit $5 a box. And I ain't got time for that right now. Hey, my fine. Hey, my lit fine auntie. What's your dream vacation? Um, My dream vacation is... That's kind of hard because I don't like going far. Well, I really didn't like going far until recently. Well, I went to London. Now I want to be everywhere. Um, I guess... Um, okay, that depends. I still don't want to go any far, anywhere far that's like a 24 hour, like when people be going to, girl, some of them places, I be like, girl, I, would, I physically feel like I would die. <clears throat> I would say one place, but I'm going there soon. I'm going there soon, so I ain't going to tell y'all because it's going to be a surprise, but, um, England and wise and etc. like that. I would love to go to Paris, which is nothing. When I the next time I go to London, I'm going to Paris and Amsterdam. Spoiler alert, and it, that's really soon. I was supposed to go back in July, but so much stuff was happening with me, I just couldn't. So I postponed it to another month. And then my dream, um, my dream tropical i would say vacation is the bahamas actually because i've been on a cruise and that's it i got a day pass to atlantis i would really like to go back and enjoy that just on its own um i still have never been to cabo i would love to go back to jamaica montego bay oh the exact same place i went because that food was so good that beach was so good that i don't care if i got sick there or not i would love to go back there um i would love to go to thailand and I would love to go. That's about it. That's about it. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. I don't want to go all of Bali, and I used to want to go to all them places, places. But now, nah, man, man, say, man, I don't want to be too far. I don't want to be too far, man. I got too much going on in my life. What would you recommend someone to invest in starting off stock? 
let me tell you something stock or what's when you think of investing think of something that everybody need and do and that will never go out of style everybody gotta eat everybody gotta go to the hospital yeah think of stuff like that so put it into property everybody gotta have somewhere to stay so that would depend on if you're talking about like low term investing or high term like what type of money you talking sis you know what i'm saying i try to come back on a whole nother financial literacy video because um i feel like i had to jump through a lot of hoops and hurdles because everything for me was trial and error almost i done flopped a lot and um i still don't feel like i know it all but i know a whole bunch more than what i used to know about like it's it's so easy to make money and I say that, but no, it's not. That, that's like an insult, because it's not. So I take that back. Um, there's a lot of money out here. You just have to get and connect with the people that can tell you how to make the money. And know what they're talking about. That's it. I, I can't really answer that, because that really depends on how much money you're trying to spend and stuff, sis. And I, I don't know. So next time I do a question and answer, be specific. Like I got only a thousand to invest. Where do I start? Or I got a hundred thousand to invest. Where do I start? You know what I'm saying? But I guess I could answer that. Like if you only got like a thousand dollars to invest and you need to flip it, I would honestly say do something like sell something like feminine hygiene or something. Um, sell something. Don't go into like makeup, lashes, hair, that kind of stuff. Every woman is going to need um That's so hard. That's so hard. Don't do a boutique. Like just just think outside the box, guys. Think um just think outside the box, honestly. And if you got a lot of money to invest, I would say start with like a Subway. Subway is one of the easiest places to franchise into. Subway, Dairy Queen, um, Bojangles. Don't try to do nothing. Oh, hell no. Nah. Like Chick-fil-A and McDonald's, baby. You got to show a, a million dollar claim. They want your family history. Chick-fil-A, you got to start from the bottom up. You got to start from a cleaner to a cashier to a manager and all that to own one. Maybe I done had a whole bunch of franchise means. I know um, McDonald's. Boy, McDonald's want a lot of your baby. McDonald's. I can't even remember the requirements, but I was like, I think Chick-fil-A was harder though, honestly. So I'm just going to tell you the easiest ones. Subway, like I said, I ain't going to repeat myself. Um, They said vegan. Uh, vending machines are um, real, real popular or good things to franchise into. Um, you know, stuff like that. So like, and it also would depend on your area, I guess. So this next will say, like, what could brands do better? What could, okay, this is two different questions. What could brands do to better a lot? A lot. Um, a lot of brands don't be knowing their target audience. A lot of brands don't even know who they're dealing with. A lot of brands um, are like, are like clout chasers. They only want to fool with the people everybody's talking about. They only want to fool with the people who look a certain type of way, talk a certain type of way. Um, brands are very stereotypical. Um, they would, like, if I get on a video, no, I, I, I'm going to use him as an example, but I love him to pieces. If I get on a video and be like, bitch, this bun and glue, get this shit, bitch. Look what I got today, bitch. I'm ghetto. Yeah, they comment that anyway. I'm ratchet. Nobody's going to work with me. But Power Reacts could say, Look here, bitch. I got it. And he worked with every major brand in the world. Um, So, stop being stereotypical. Or stop being whatever you call it. I don't know what that's called. Brands could start... It's um, a lot of things brands could do, y'all. Brands could take peers off the PR list and stuff. Like, there is no reason why I should be over Maybelline PR list. Because, of course, if I don't like somebody, I'm going to skip over them, even if they talented or not. I wouldn't because I'm not a hater. I, will, I still put money in people's pockets and I don't even talk to them. But a lot of people do that. A lot of companies do that. They allow their peers over their PR or they're really, really close with 
um another influencer and so they let that influencer influence them to not deal with certain it, messy it's like high school child as I'm doing my makeup, I realized I know what I was trying to say now about what braids can do better. And it's as simple as um, if you're a beauty brand and you come to town, why is there fashion and food vloggers in here? And then no beauty vloggers. They're going off of like numbers now instead of the people who really push their products. Like there is no way I should be at a perfume event there is no way a perfume event should be full of food vloggers all because they got big numbers. Okay, they got big numbers, but people follow them for food. They ain't finna buy this perfume. Maybe they are, but that's like an ultimate pet peeve of mine. Like, why I, am I looking at a cover girl event and y'all didn't invite Miss Miss Creative Diva who taught everybody how to blend? Um, and it's on y'all PR, by the way. But she wasn't invited. But I see content, I see travel vloggers, food vloggers, tech vloggers in here. That doesn't make any sense to me. And when I say that, I don't mean don't invite invite the food vloggers, don't invite the tech vloggers, but invite the beauty vloggers. Duh. So what could incoming influencers do better? Whoa. I just talked about that already. They so high. Some of these incoming influencers so Hollywood now, baby. They be at these events, nose in the air, staring at you. And baby, you have not arrived. I'm just gonna say that the nicest way ever. Um, they can be respectful. Like a lot of times, I go to events and everybody is there to get the shot. Everybody is there to get the the, the hot shit, right? So why, if I'm standing here recording, this is my phone. My phone is right here. Why? Or you recording next to me and you got your phone out like this. I get so fucking irritated when people do that. Um, as an incoming influencer, know your equipment. Like, I can't even lie. Some of my own homegirls, they know. I don't sugarcoat nothing. Y'all know I'm straight no chase. I tell them, you need to learn your equipment. Because when I get to an event, I get out of my content and then I'm ready to turn up. I don't have time for you to be waiting on. How, you forgot how to turn your light on. You forgot what setting you need to be feminine. Oh, record this over. I was out of focus. Like, let's get in here, get this content, and get up out and and get to the fun. Know your equipment. Um, give props. I see so many influencers. Boy, that go somewhere and swear they came up with it aside first. All you have to say is, I saw Platinum D go here. You'll get the same amount of views. I swear you would. As if you don't say that. It's just weird. <laughs> Stop undercutting the business. I am doing way too much negotiating now. Because everybody is selling themselves short. Um, <sighs> Incoming influencers just... I just feel like they need to... You know, I can only imagine how little Kim feel right now. I feel like I'm the little Kim of the industry. I literally was the first person blogging, doing makeup tutorials and all that. And um, I'm so glad that it's so lucrative for so many people, but I just feel like people are disrespectful with it. Like, I be at events and people be looking at me like I I'm, I'm not her. Like, girl. Like, I literally was at an event the other day. I'm not going to say the event or the name or nothing because y'all start putting two and two together. And somebody had a whole camera production and everything. So, I was like, girl, you got it going on. What's your page? So, she told me her TikTok. And she was like, but follow me on, subscribe on Instagram. I'm very popular over there. I have 30,000 subscribers. And I was like, yeah, follow me. <laughs> follow me. I didn't even say how many subscribers I had. Yeah, okay. Follow me. But I guess that's how you're supposed to be. Up big up yourself. But it's just like now the humbleness and stuff is just going down a drain. I'll be looking at some of these girls like, girl, pipe down. Literally. So what are things you want to see more from the influencer industry? What are some um things for older women? Um 
like some grown and sexy stuff. Um, I honestly don't know, y'all. I, I honestly don't know. This, the influencer industry is changing by the day. It's so confusing. Me and Monet literally stay on the phone all day going back and forth about what are we doing? And what are we... Like, it's confusing. It's confusing as hell. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to see more... I would say brand events and stuff, but baby, these brand events popping. I just want to see more equality. I just want to see more... Um, fairness like how i don't know it's a lot of us out here spread us thin baby it'd be the same people at some stuff sometimes and shit y'all could say that about me because i be at everything but shoot i don't know I, that's a hard question baby i don't know i don't know what i want to see from the influence the industry i i don't know child it's a puzzle okay last question sorry i gotta drink a lot of water today because my friend took me to Bucky's today and I ate a whole chopped beef and some chips. And then I ate two rounds of gumbo for dinner. Got to flush all that sodium up out of me. So the last question is what keeps you motiva motivated? Um, I don't like to, to be a failure. I don't like to give up. I don't like to quit. I don't like for people to feel like, oh, she tapped. I don't like that feeling at all. I get the fuck up. Let me feel like a failure. I'm going to quit. I get the fuck up out this bed so damn fast. <clears throat> I guess like Lil Wayne said, uh, uh, the money is the motive. Uh, with the money, it get ugly as coyote. Because like, I really don't have like, it used to be my kids. I want like, I literally had visions of like, Getting me a G wagon, my son this beans, my daughter this beans. We all on a picture together. It's like I lost my son. Then it's like my daughter's a little disconnected right now. So I just don't know how to be motivated with that. And then I wanted to get this so me and my wife could. I'm not married anymore. <sighs> the money is the motive for y'all. And I'm getting old, so it's time for me to start stacking in different ways and saving and all that. Because, like, I don't have a, a spouse this and that I can fall back on. I got to get it out the mud, y'all. So, that's the motive, baby. Me, myself, and I. Um, not being a failure. Not, I, 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 that giving up stuff, baby, please. I'm going to pop, 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 till I can't no more. A lot of them I did skip because y'all was asking about Sir over and over. Nobody asked about Nicole this round. Oh, the one person. Well, they ain't really asking about her. They just asked me to describe how I feel in the word. But, uh, yeah, that was interesting, y'all. So, I'm still hanging in there, elite auntie. Still motivated. Still dropping content. Still talk to, um... Miss to get it right. I do these. I probably won't do another one to December. It's going to be like a year update on my marriage. And things might be a little different by then. I ain't going to talk too much. We got some things to be expecting probably. Bye! Don't forget to check out Remy Forte hair. I will leave everything about this week below the video.